those with hay fever may not agree, but in many ways, pollen helps the world go round. Mike Anderson tells us why pollinators and pollinator plantings are important for people and for wildlife. A pollinator is basically any animal that will move pollen from one flower to the other. So we all know bees and butterflies are popular pollinators, but bats, um, hummingbirds, and even small mammals can be pollinators. Pollinators are important for people and the economy. They estimate about one in three bites of what we eat are thanks to pollinators. Um, globally, it's about a $220 billion amount that we get from pollinator services, pollinating our crops. And in the United States, I think it's about 18 to 27 billion. When pollinators are moving pollen from one plant to another is essentially how we get plant reproduction, which is crucial for the entire ecosystem. Pollinators are also important for wildlife. Our pheasant chicks and our sharp-tailed grouse chicks, they eat a lot of insects when they're young. They depend on that cover for protection when they're young. And so without the pollinators ensuring those plants are on the landscape, we're losing that cover. Grassland nesting birds, uh, like the meadowlark, they eat seeds that come from plants that are pollinated by our insects. So it's all very interconnected. Mueller says pollinators are declining and the main reason is habitat loss. North Dakota used to be a prairie state, all grassland, and we've lost about 70% of our grasslands here. Um, and so the resources that they depend on is going to be that the food resources, the nectar, and then the pollen from flowers, the space for them to nest during winter, um, a lot of that is gone. There are some simple things people can do to help pollinators. Pollinator plot would be, you know, any type of planting that includes flowers or grasses and grasses that would be good for pollinators. I like to say any amount is going to be helpful for our pollinators. You know, even if you can only put one plant out there, if 100 people put 100 potted plants out, you know, that's 100 new plants on the landscape. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.